what's up beautiful guys beautiful gals my love bugs my fam bam how are y'all i hope you guys are having a beautiful day and i hope y'all aren't tired of this look because i'm power filming <laughs> It's a nasty, gloomy day outside, so I'm sorry it's like a little bit dark behind me, but I mean, some people straight up film in the dark, okay? So, I do want to get some softbox lights, but like, I don't have anywhere to put them. Like, there's literally, like, this desk is maybe like a foot and a half wide, and that's all the space I have between me and the window. So, once I flip this room, I think I'll be able to fit some in here. But right now, we just got to work with this ring light, okay? So, today, I'm here to give you guys some of my favorite glycerin-free stylers. Now, I'm going to be real with you. I don't have many. Most of my most of my favorite stylers contain glycerin. They do. Um, and so, I will start off with this disclaimer. Because, like, like I've said before, I feel like whenever I mention like issues with glycerin or people not liking glycerin or companies, you know, overfilling their products with glycerin, you know, watering them down with glycerin. I feel like I get an anecdote about how glycerin ain't that bad. And I'm like, I'm not saying it's bad. I like glycerin too. Most of the products that I recommend to you guys contain glycerin. I like it too. I do. But I know a lot of people don't. That's why I'm doing this video. <laughs> so I have no issues with glycerin. And it's like I say all the time for me my issue is not with glycerin as an ingredient but the way a lot of these companies formulate with glycerin a lot of them don't balance out their products well at all and it just feels like you put a, a whole thing of glycerin on your head and nothing else like <laughs> sometimes i'm just like y'all really just played us with this you know a, it has so much to do with formulation and so I don't mind glycerin in my products because I know that if a, a product is formulated well then glycerin should not be an issue and I also know that I also use products that have a lot of other types of humectants in them as well. Basically what I did I went through like everything I could think of in my collection. Most of my products I already knew had glycerin in them but I also have two honorable mentions that I feel like work really really well in humidity um, and glycerin is so far down the list that I don't even think that it's worth caring about. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do today. Um, it's not going to be a very extensive video because I don't really have much to show. So yeah, if you are interested in seeing my top picks for glycerin freestylers and just keep on watching. Okay, so you guys know, we'll get this out of the way. Because I know a lot of people are going to say, what about Uncle Funky's daughter? I'm not putting Uncle Funky's daughter curly magic in this video. Because now that the ingredients list have changed online, glycerin is like the second ingredient. Now, I've mentioned this in a video that I did about like problematic ingredients in our natural hair products. I'm sure most of y'all will know how I feel about that. But a lot of y'all wanted a video, so I gave you a video. But, um... They did mention to my friend Faux here on YouTube that they basically said the formula did not change it. They just updated the packaging, which leads you to believe that you're not disclosing ingredients. Like, that's the only type of conjecture that you can come up with. Like, if that's the truth, then you actually have had these ingredients in there the whole time um, and you haven't been telling us. And that's incredibly problematic. Incredibly problematic. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to put that in here because whether it is true that glycerin has been in there all along or not, that still makes it not a glycerin-free product. So, I'm not going to add it. Once all that came out, then I had to take it out of this list. So, um, the good thing is that we have... Camille Rose Curl Maker. Now I know a lot of people don't, there are a lot of people that don't like Curl Maker. I think because this has a lot of oils in it and you can feel that. You can feel that there are a lot of oils in this product, but I love this. And I feel like if you are not happy with Uncle Funky's right now, I think Curl Maker is a great place to go unless you have issues with like the fragrance they use or you know, you're allergic to some of the oils and things that are in here. They have very similar formulations. I find this one, to have more emollients than Uncle Funky's Daughter. So I use this a lot in the fall and winter. This is like one of my favorite staples for fall and winter wash and goes. But do not be fooled. This has a lot of humectants in there. 
Um, and if you don't know what humectants are, maybe I should, you know, start with that. Humectants are ingredients that draw moisture from the environment. It's a very layman's way of explaining it, basically. So the thing with, with glycerin, honey, agave, panthenol, pectin, all of these ingredients are going to are going to work with the moisture in the environment to pull that moisture into your strand. Is great unless you're in a very dry climate and there is no moisture to be pulled from and it's going to do the opposite. It's going to pull moisture from somewhere and that moisture is going to be your hair, you know? So if you are in a very dry climate, you don't have your dew points be looking real dusty then having something that's very humectant rich is not going to do much for you. This does not contain glycerin, but it does have quite a few different humectants in here. Um, I think this actually has, it has pectin as the second ingredient, and then it also has marshmallow root, which can act as a humectant. There's agave, there's horsetail, and there's also nettle. So this is very humectant rich. But I love this. I just mentioned it in my favorite one and done products as well. This is a really, really nice styler. And it's glycerin free. Then we have the TGIN Miracle Repair Miracle Styling Gel with black castor oil and biotin. I recently did a video on this and I love this gel. And I didn't even pay attention to the fact that it is glycerin free. This is a beautiful gel. Um, it does have honey in here. That honey is... See, raw black honey is the third ingredient in this. So you are still getting some type of humectant. <laughs> you are getting a lot of humectant in here. It does also have agave extract. There's slippery elm. There's also some nettle and horsetail. So even though this has a lot of similar ingredients to Curl Maker, it is nothing like Curl Maker. Um, I love the wash and go that I get with this. This and the new... Miracle Repair leave-in because they did change the formula of that leave-in. The old one does not mix well with this. So if you have the old leave-in and you go to get this gel, know that they do not mix well. Um, but this is really, really nice. It gives a lot of shine to the hair. It, to me, gives that perfect balance of having fluffy yet very defined hair. I feel like I don't have to sacrifice either one, whereas one of its other counterparts that I am going to mention is like, it is fluff. It's, it gives a lot of like plush, you know, fluffiness to the hair. This one still gives that perfect amount of definition, hold, and volume. So this is a beautiful gel and it is glycerin. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and mention this because I think I cracked the code on this, but I'm not going to tell y'all until I know like for sure. I'm going to try it again. I'll probably try it a third time. And if it works, then I'm going to let y'all know. <laughs> but I did want to put this in here because you guys know I recently did a video on Trey Lux. You guys love that video, by the way. Thank you so much for all the love on that video. Um, And this gel was everything that I wanted to be except for the fact that I got flaking with it. And I think I have cracked the code on that flaking. So... This is the Trey Lux High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel for long lasting and defined curls. Y'all, this product right here, it will give you one of the shiniest, most defined wash and goes of life. But like I said, I was struggling with that, that flaking, but I think I have figured it out. I think I have found something that works, but like I said, I won't tell y'all until I'm for sure. But I know that there are still a lot of people that don't have issues with flaking with this. And I figured I should mention it because just because I have an issue with that doesn't mean that you necessarily will, even though a lot of people do. Um, this right here is, it is considered a styling gel, but I feel like this has the same properties as like um, Kinky Curly Curling Custard, um, you know, Camille Rose Curl Maker, all that good stuff. So this one has, um, let's see, it has carrageenan and xanthan gum in here. Those are the main holding agents in this. This has a lot of, um, extracts in here. Um, there's some oils in here as well, but this does also have honey. So it does have a humectant in here, but it's humectant is not glycerin. So 
I really like how this applies to the hair. It's very smooth, very, and I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say buttery, but it really just like encapsulates every curl. And the shine was everything. It had really nice definition. It was just that I had like noticeable flakes. So um, if this combination, you know, if this low test that I'm doing works out, it's, it's going to hit home for me. I told you guys that this did so much good to my hair that I felt like I had, like absolutely had to put this, you know, in the video and it was worth continuing to give another shot. So I am becoming more and more and more of a big fan of this, but I know a lot of people swear by this product. It is glycerin free. So those of you who avoid that ingredient, that is an option. While I'm on it, because I forgot to mention this, Kinky Curly is also glycerin free. I don't have a jar in front of me. I need to go purchase another jar. <laughs> but Kinky Curly is also glycerin free. So that is a good one to try as well. I love that stuff. It just, <sighs> revisiting Kinky Curly was just everything for me last year. So I need to, I'm just gonna go ahead and get a 16 ounce jar because I went through that little eight ounce jar so fast. That was how much I was using it because it was one of my favorite wash and go staples. Um, and then these three that I'm about to show you are three of my favorite, like all time favorite products for wash and goes. The first one is the Sprung Coil Boosting Jelly. Those of you who don't really pay a lot of attention to ingredients might be surprised that this is glycerin free. Um, this is like a cream gel formula. It literally feels like jelly. Oh, that was my, I don't know if y'all heard that. That was my stomach. I'm hungry. I'm about to get right off here and go eat. So you can see it's like a cream gel, jelly texture. And this does not contain glycerin. Um, this has saw palmetto and horsetail. There is some wheat germ in here, jojoba, cellulose gum. There's some carbon in here, ginseng. It smells like candy and it feels amazing on the hair. This is one of those products that really like makes you think that it's going to be like that stronghold, but when you scrunch it out, it's very soft, very pillowy. The volume is crazy. And so it's one of those products that would make you think that it is very glycerin rich and it's not. Um, this is one of my favorites for like very fluffy, soft, defined wash and goes. I absolutely love it. This is one of my favorite wash and go products for that reason. So highly suggest if you're looking for a styler that's still going to give you that soft pillowy look, but isn't pumped with lots of glycerin. Right, Chia. This is probably one of the most firm, strong holding gels in the natural hair care community. This is Eco Slay Jello Shot for Rebellious Curls. I love this so much. Um, I'm almost out of it. Y'all see, I'm almost done. I use this for so many different things. I love to use it for wash and goes, but I also will use this product to, you know, slick back my hair, put my hair into buns, puffs, etc., etc. This is a really great product for all of those different occasions. This one has okra. This also has that pectin in there. So this is really good um, as something that does contain a humectant but it does not contain glycerin. There is also some nettle. Y'all can kind of see a, um, a theme here, right? A lot of these products that don't contain um, glycerin either contain like a, a combination of like agave, nettle, pectin, horsetail, stuff like that. Those ingredients are also great for slip. This also has strawberry fruit essence, which I love. It smells amazing. It does use carbomer as it's like thickening and um, gelling ingredient. So it is a very strong whole gel. This stuff is firm. It's firm. Like <laughs> I have to use this with a curl primer if I want to do a wash and go because if I don't, it will be stuck to my head. Helmet hair, you know, like literally just, it don't move. Gorilla Glue, just saying. <laughs> so, but um, this is one of those products that can give a beautiful wash and go for my hair type if I use it with a curl primer. And that's what I do when I get amazing wash and goes. It lasts beautifully. And I feel like this is 
for me, I know I still owe y'all that um, comparison between this and Frozen. I just haven't really found a lot of time to do videos like that. But for me, I actually prefer this to Frozen because this holds so much moisture in my hair. It's interesting because Frozen um, Drip and Grip Gel from Sultanicals does actually have glycerin in it. And it doesn't make my hair feel dry, but like when I wash my hair after having like a week long wash and go of this, I'm always shocked by how moisturized my hair still is. Like it just holds so much moisture in my hair. I feel like if you are someone who really struggles with dry hair, I really, I highly suggest this. I feel like this is one of the most moisturizing stronghold products on the market. I feel like a lot of stronghold products even if they aren't drying, they feel dry to an extent. You know what I'm saying? And this does not, like it just always feels smooth, just moisturized, even when it is super hard, firm, you know? <laughs> this is a beautiful product. I absolutely love it. I need to get some more. I missed their sale, like the last big sale they did. But I definitely need to get some more because I'm almost out. I probably have like um, maybe two or three wash and goes left with this. So it's about that time. All right. And then last but not least, this is the last one that is like 100% like glycerin free. And then I'll give you guys my honorable mentions for two that I feel like work really well, but have glycerin like way, way, way down the list. Okay. I feel like this should be no surprise. You guys know I love this. This is one of my favorite products for summertime. I don't foresee myself opening this before summer hits again, but then I might. I don't know. I might. This is the Tahiti Cocktail Curl Enhancing Jelly Custard. This sculpts shapes and defines curls with dragon fruit, honey, and castor oil for all hair types. From She Sent It. Y'all know I love this stuff. It just, it feels so good. Goes onto the hair like butter. It leaves so much shine and definition, but it locks everything in, honey. Everything. Um, so this also is formulated with pectin. There's some beet sugar in here. There is coconut oil, castor oil. There's also some raw honey in here. Um, so this does, all, like the others, it has really good um, humectants in there. But this is also very, very well balanced with a lot of different oils as well as extracts. There is also some hydrolyzed cornstarch in here. Um, this right here, I call it a humidity shield. It's one of my favorite products for spring and summer because when it is humid outside and I put this in my hair, it's like I, I would never know. Like it, the humidity doesn't touch it at all, which is amazing considering that it does have still relatively strong humectants in it, but I feel like the way they formulated this, like it does so well. It's so well balanced and it just locks everything in. I love it. It leaves my hair so shiny and buttery and it has a lot of hold in it as well. This is one of my favorite stylers for a reason. All of my other favorite She Scented stylers do contain glycerin and the couple that I have that don't have been discontinued from the collection. So there's no point in putting them in this video because you can't get it. <laughs> But yeah, that like, I would suggest that to anyone who struggles with like humidity and high heat anyway, like in their area, but it's also a really beautiful glycerin free styler. All right. And then as honorable mentions, I absolutely love these products and the glycerin is very, very low on these. Um, and I think that these are totally worth trying out because they do so well in the humidity for me, which is saying a lot because you guys know, like I say all the time, my hair is very reactive when it comes to humidity. So the first one is the TGIN Rose Water Curl Defining Styling Gel with rose water and acai berry. This is formulated to be a soft hold styling gel that reduces frizz, increases volume, and defines curls in waves. So this guy has glycerin literally all the way at the end of the ingredient, like all the way. It's like the very last five. <laughs> Um, this has rose flower, there's acai fruit, ginger extract, lavender, marula seed oil. There is some hydrolyzed wheat protein at the bottom as well. This is formulated to be a lighter weight hold. And like I said, this, the Miracle one, I feel like is really great. 
as a balance between definition, hold, volume, all that good stuff. Where this one, I still get great definition, but it gives me way more volume. Like this gives like fluff, very fluffy, um, soft, but still defined, plush. It's very plumping. Like I feel like it really plumps my curls up while also giving them that lift and volume. This does amazingly well in um, like humid and really hot climates for me. Honestly, if I didn't see the glycerin sitting there on the list, I would think that this did not have any glycerin. I would think that this did not have any type of humectant at all. So I figured this is still a really good one to add. With everything else that's in it, I feel like you probably won't you you won't notice because I really can't tell. Y'all know I always say there's a lot of times you can tell when a product has glycerin. Like you can tell. Um, and that is not one of them. Honestly, they could probably take glycerin out the formula and we wouldn't even know. <laughs> That's how good it is with humidity. And then last but not least, I had to put this in here because y'all know I put this to the test last year when, you know, we had lockdown and then going back to work and we, you know, all those capacity limits and having to stand outside with people while they bitched and complained about having to stand outside, like... Ain't nobody tell every single person in the whole damn city to come to this store. But where are y'all at this damn store? Like you didn't know we was going to make you line up outside. I'm so happy I don't have to deal with that anymore. Y'all, so happy. <laughs> but this product came through for me. I'm more than halfway finished with this. I'm going to have to buy another bottle soon. This is the Curl Smith Hydra Style Flexi Jelly. This is their styling gel. Um, it's medium hold, lightweight, airy definition. This does have a weightless air dry cream, I think, that comes with it. Um, and I pair the two of these together. So this does also have glycerin in it, but it is, a, again, like this, the glycerin is so far down. Like it's all the way down and that like really tiny percentage with the um, fragrance and the preservative that is in here. That's how far down it is. Like it's at the very bottom of the list. And like I said last year when I reviewed this entire collection, this stuff, that humidity did not touch my hair not once. I was out in the heat and humidity. I was out in the cold and it was still humid and it never touched my hair. And I was wearing my hair for days, literally a week at a time. And it looked like I had never stepped out into a humid, moist climate. Like it looked like, like nothing ever touched it. This right here, honestly, this right here, just don't even think about the glycerin, honestly. Just don't even think about it. I think this does have other, let's see, it, yeah, it does have hyaluronic acid in it, which is also a humectant. So hyaluronic is a strong humectant. Um, it's very well known in like the skincare community um, for moisture. So it does have that in there, but there are a lot of different extracts and a few different oils in here as well. I love this. Listen, listen. I think the most amazing thing would be like if Curl Smith were to ever send me a PR package, if they just sent me a PR package with like 15 of these, I would die happy. Dead ass. That's how much I like this. And y'all know I have a lot of stuff. But this is just everything for those days when like I have to go out and I want my hair to last, but I know it's not going to last in the humidity. This comes through every time and it looks better as the days go on. Like day one, it'll look good, but like day seven is like, damn, that should look good too. It's that kind of styler. Like it just gets better as the days go on. So yeah, like I said, the glycerin is so far down that I feel like it's not even worth mentioning. So I wanted to give you guys these two honorable mentions um, for really good low glycerin products as well. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope that this gave you guys some really good options for glycerin free and low glycerin stylers. Um, like I said, most of the products that I use and love do contain glycerin, so I don't have a lot in my collection. Um, but I also didn't wanna put any products in this video that I've never tried. And don't, you know, like, <laughs> I feel like this dishonest because, like, just because it doesn't have glycerin in it doesn't mean it's good. And I don't want to tell y'all to go buy anything if I don't know that it's good. So, hopefully, this was at least a nice, cute little list for y'all. 
you guys did also request that I do one for protein free products and coconut oil free products. So I will be doing those. I asked y'all if you cared about aloe vera and I had like two people say that they did. So, you know, I let y'all decide on that one. Y'all gonna have to fight the fam on that one. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any other glycerin free stylers that you absolutely love that you think other people should know, leave them down in the comments and help your fam bam out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.